Chapter 10 Jonah In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Alif Lam Ra These are the verses of the book, the Quran, explaining both lawful and unlawful things, explaining Allah's divine laws for mankind, and leading them to eternal happiness by ordering them to follow the true Islamic monotheism worshipping none but Allah alone. That will guide them to paradise and save them from hell. Is it too much of a wonder for mankind that we have sent our inspiration to a man from among them, saying, Warn mankind of the coming torment in hell, and give good news to those who believe in the oneness of Allah and His prophet Muhammad, that they shall have with their Lord the rewards of their good deeds. But the disbelievers say, This is indeed an evident sorcerer. Surely your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and then rose over the throne in a manner that suits His majesty, disposing of the affairs of all things. No intercessor can plead with Him except after His leave. This is Allah, your Lord, so worship Him alone. Then will you not remember? To him is the return of you all. The promise of Allah is true. It is he who began creation and will repeat it, that he may reward with justice those who believed in the oneness of Allah and did deeds of righteousness. But those who disbelieved will have a drink of boiling fluids and painful torment because they used to disbelieve. It is he who made the sun radiant and the moon a light of beauty and measured out their stages, that you might know the number of years and the reckoning. Allah did not create this, but in truth. He explains the signs and revelations in detail for people who have knowledge. Indeed, in the alternation of the night and the day, and in all that Allah has created in the heavens and the earth, are signs and revelations for those people who keep their duty to Allah and fear Him much. Indeed, those who do not hope for their meeting with us, but are pleased and satisfied with the life of the present world, and those who are heedless of our signs and revelations, for them, their abode will be the fire, because of what they used to earn. Indeed, those who believe in the oneness of Allah and do deeds of righteousness, their Lord will guide them through their faith, and under them will flow rivers in the gardens of delight in paradise. Their way of request there will be, Glory to you, O Allah! And their way of greeting will be, Peace! And as their requests are granted, they will say, All praises and thanks are to Allah, the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. And were Allah to hasten for mankind, the retribution they incur on themselves and for their children while in a state of anger, as He hastens for them the good they invoke, they would have been ruined. So we leave those who do not expect their meeting with us in their trespasses, wandering blindly in distraction. And when harm touches man, he implores us, lying down on his side, or sitting or standing. But when we remove his harm from him, he passes on his way, as if he had never invoked us for a harm that touched him. Thus it seems fair to the transgressors that which they used to do. And indeed, we destroyed many a generation before you, when they did wrong, when their messengers came to them with clear proofs, but they refused to believe. Thus do we requite the people who are disbelievers, polytheists, sinners, and criminals. Then we made you follow after them, generation after generation in the land, that we might see how you would do. And when our clear verses are recited to them, those who do not hope for their meeting with us say, Bring us a Quran other than this, or change it. Say, O Muhammad, it is not for me to change it of my own accord. I only follow that which is revealed to me. Indeed, I fear if I were to disobey my Lord, the torment of the great day, the day of resurrection. Say, O Muhammad, if Allah had willed, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have made it known to you. Indeed, I have stayed amongst you a lifetime before this. Have you then no sense? 
So who does more wrong than he who forges a lie against Allah or denies his signs and revelations? Surely the criminals, sinners, disbelievers, and polytheists will never be successful. And they worship besides Allah things that do not hurt them, nor benefit them, and they say, These are our intercessors with Allah. Say, Are you informing Allah of that which He does not know in the heavens and on the earth? Glorified and exalted is He above all that they associate as partners with Him. Mankind were but one community. Then they disputed between themselves. And had it not been for a word that went forth from your Lord, it would have been settled between them regarding their differences. And they say, How is it that a sign has not been sent down on him from his Lord? Say, The unseen belongs to Allah alone, so wait. Indeed, I am with you among those who wait for Allah's judgment. And when we let mankind taste our mercy after some adversity has afflicted them, they take to plotting against our signs and revelations. Say, Allah is swifter in planning. Certainly, our angels record all of that which you plot. It is He who enables you to travel through land and sea, till when they board the ships and sail in them with a favorable wind. Then, while they rejoice, there comes a storm, and the waves come to them from every side, and they think that they are encircled. Then they implore Allah, making their faith pure for Him alone, saying, If you, O Allah, deliver us from this, we shall truly be of the grateful. But when He delivers them, behold, they rebel and disobey Allah in the earth wrongfully. O mankind, your rebellion and disobedience to Allah is only against yourselves, a brief enjoyment of this worldly life. But in the end to us is your return, and we shall inform you that which you used to do. Indeed, the likeness of this worldly life is as the water which we send down from the sky, so by it arises the intermingled produce of the earth, of which men and cattle eat, until when the earth is clad with its adornments and is beautified, and its people think that they have all the powers of disposal over it, our command reaches it by night or by day and we make it like a clean mown harvest, as if it had not even flourished yesterday. Thus do we explain the signs and revelations in detail for the people who reflect. Allah invites to the home of peace, paradise, and guides whom He wills to a straight path. For those who have done good, it is the best reward of paradise and even more. Neither darkness nor dust, nor any humiliating disgrace shall cover their faces. They are the dwellers of paradise. They will abide there forever. And those who have earned evil deeds, the recompense is equivalent to their sin, and humiliating disgrace will cover their faces. No defender will they have from Allah. Their faces will be covered, as it were, with pieces from the darkness of night. They are dwellers of the fire. They will abide there for ever. And the day on which we shall gather them all together, we shall say to those who set partners in worship with us, Stop at your place, you and your partners, whom you worshipped in the worldly life. Then we shall separate them, and their so-called partners shall say, It was not us that you used to worship. Sufficient is Allah as a witness between us and you, that we indeed knew nothing of your worship of us. There every person will know exactly all that he earned before, and they will be brought back to Allah, their rightful Lord, and their invented false deities will vanish from them. Say, O Muhammad, who provides for you from the sky and from the earth, and who controls all hearing and sight, and who brings out the living from the dead, and brings out the dead from the living, and who disposes of all affairs? They will say, Allah. Say, Will you not then be afraid of Allah's punishment for setting up rivals in worship with Allah? Such is Allah, your Lord, in truth. So after the truth, what else can there be except error? How then can you turn away? Thus is the word of your Lord justified against those who rebel and disobey Allah, and do not believe in the oneness of Allah and in Muhammad as the messenger of Allah. Say, is there from among your so-called partners to Allah one that originates creation and then repeats it? Say, 
Allah originates creation, and then He repeats it. Then how are you deluded away from the truth? Say, is there one of your so-called partners to Allah, one that guides to the truth? Say, it is Allah who guides to the truth. Is then he who gives guidance to the truth more worthy to be followed, or he who does not find guidance himself unless he himself is guided? Then what is the matter with your judgment? And most of them follow nothing but conjecture. Certainly, conjecture can be of no avail against the truth. Surely, Allah is all aware of what they do. And this Quran could not be authored by other than Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth. It is a confirmation of the revelation which came before it. It is infallible, for it comes from the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. Or do they say, He, Muhammad, has forged it? Say, Then bring a chapter like it, and invite whoever you wish besides Allah if you are truthful. Indeed, they have rejected this without studying and examining it and before comprehending it. Thus did those before them disbelieve, just as those before them did deny. Then see what was the end of the polytheists and wrongdoers. And of them there are some who believe in it, and of them there are some who do not believe in it, and your Lord is all aware of the evil doers and liars. And if they deny you, say, For me are my deeds, and for you are your deeds. You are innocent of what I do, and I am innocent of what you do. And among them are some who listen to you, but can you make the deaf hear, even though they cannot? And among them there are some who look at you, but can you guide the blind, even though they cannot see? Truly, Allah does not wrong mankind in anything, but men wrong themselves. And on the day when He shall gather them together, it will be as if they had not stayed in the life of this world, but for an hour of a day, and they will recognize each other. Ruined indeed will be those who denied any meeting with Allah and were not guided. Whether we show you in your lifetime, O Muhammad, some of what we promise them of the torment, or we cause you to die before it, still to us is their return. And moreover, Allah is witness over what they used to do. And for every nation there is a messenger, and when their messenger comes, the matter will be judged between them with justice, and they will not be wronged. And they say, When will be this promise of the torment of the day of resurrection, if you speak the truth? Say, O Muhammad, I have no power over any harm or benefit to myself except what Allah may will. For every nation there is a term appointed. When their term is reached, Neither can they delay it, nor can they advance it an hour or even a moment. Say, tell me, whether his retribution comes to you by night or by day, why are the transgressors in such a hurry? Is it then that when it actually befalls you, then you will believe in it? Why should you believe then? And before you wanted to hurry to it? Then it will be said to those who wrong themselves, Now, Taste the everlasting torment. Are you punished for anything except what you used to earn? And they ask you, O Muhammad, to inform them, saying, Is the torment and the coming of the hour, the day of resurrection, the truth? Say, Yes, by my Lord, it is the truth, and you cannot escape from it. And if every person who had done wrong by disbelieving in Allah and by worshipping others besides Allah possessed all that is on earth and sought to ransom himself with it, it will not be accepted, and they would feel in their hearts regret when they see the torment, and they will be judged with justice, and no wrong will be done to them. No doubt, surely all that is in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. No doubt, surely, Allah's promise is true. But most of them do not know. It is He who gives life and causes death, and to Him you shall all return. O mankind, there has come to you good advice from your Lord in this Quran, ordering all that is good and forbidding all that is evil, and a healing for the disease of ignorance, doubt, and hypocrisy in your hearts. 
a guidance and a mercy, explaining lawful and unlawful things for the believers. Say, in the bounty of Allah and in his mercy of Islam and the Quran, in that let them rejoice. That is better than the wealth they amass. Say, O Muhammad, to the polytheists, note the provision Allah has sent down to you for sustenance, and you have made some of it lawful and some unlawful. Say, O Muhammad, has Allah permitted you to do so, or do you invent a lie against Allah? And what do those who invent lies against Allah on the day of resurrection think? Do they think that they will be forgiven and excused? No. They will suffer an eternal punishment in the fire of hell. Truly, Allah is full of bounty to mankind, but most of them are ungrateful. Whatever you, O Muhammad, may do, and whatever part you may recite from the Quran, and whatever deeds you, mankind, may do, good or evil, we are a witness to it. Not even an atom's weight is out of your Lord's control, be it anywhere in the heavens or the earth, nor is there anything smaller than an atom or larger that is not written in a clear record. No doubt, indeed, the friends of Allah, those who believe in the oneness of Allah and fear Allah much by abstaining from all kinds of sins and evil deeds which He has forbidden, and love Allah much by performing all kinds of good deeds which He has ordained, no fear shall come upon them, nor shall they grieve. Those who believe in the oneness of Allah and fear Allah much by abstaining from evil deeds and sins and by doing righteous deeds, for them are glad tidings in the life of the present world and in the hereafter. No change can there be in the words of Allah. This is indeed the supreme success. And do not let their speech grieve you, O Muhammad, for all power and honor belongs to Allah. He is the All-Hearer, the All-Knower. No doubt, indeed, to Allah belongs whoever is in the heavens and whoever is in the earth. And those who worship and invoke others besides Allah, in fact, they do not follow the so-called partners of Allah. They only follow conjecture, and they only invent lies. It is He who has appointed for you the night that you may rest, and the day to make things visible to you. Indeed, in this are signs and revelations for a people who listen and think deeply. The Jews, Christians, and pagans say, Allah has begotten the Son. Glory be to Him. He is rich, free of all wants. His is all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. No, they have no proof for this. Do you say against Allah what you do not know? Say, indeed, those who invent lies against Allah will never be successful. A brief enjoyment in this world, and then to us will be their return. Then we shall make them taste the severest torment, because they used to disbelieve in Allah, deny His messengers, and deny and challenge His signs and revelations. And recite to them the news of Noah, when he said to his people, O my people, if my stay with you and my reminders to you of the signs and revelations of Allah is hard on you, then I put my trust in Allah. So devise your plot, you and your helpers, and do not let your plot be in doubt for you. Then pass your sentence on me and give me no respite. But if you turn away, then I have asked no reward of you. My reward is only from Allah, and I have been commanded to be one of the Muslims, those who submit to Allah's will. They denied him, but we delivered him, and those with him in the ship. And we made them generations one after another, while we drowned those who denied our signs and revelations. So see then the end of those who were warned. Then after him we sent messengers to their people. They brought them clear proofs, but they were not to believe in what they had rejected in the past. Thus we seal the hearts of the transgressors, those who disbelieve in the oneness of Allah, and disobey Him. Then, after them, we sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh and his chiefs with our signs and revelations. But they behaved arrogantly, and were disbelievers, sinners, and polytheists. So when there came to them the truth from us, they said, This is indeed clear magic. Moses said, Do you say this about the truth when it comes to you? that it is magic? How can magicians ever be successful? 
They said, Have you come to us to turn us away from that faith we found our fathers following? So that the two of you may have greatness in the land, we are not going to believe you. And Pharaoh said, Bring to me every well-versed sorcerer. And when the sorcerers came, Moses said to them, Cast down what you want to cast. Then, when they had cast, Moses said, What you have brought is sorcery. Allah will surely make it of no effect. Indeed, Allah does not support the work of the evildoers. And Allah will establish and make the truth apparent by his words, however much the criminals, disbelievers, polytheists and sinners may hate it. But none believed in Moses except the offspring of his people, because of the fear of Pharaoh and his chiefs, lest they should persecute them. And indeed, Pharaoh was an arrogant tyrant on the earth. He was indeed one of the polytheist sinners and transgressors, among those who give up the truth and follow evil and commit all kinds of great sins. And Moses said, O my people, if you have believed in Allah, then put your trust in him if you are Muslims, those who submit to Allah's will. They said, In Allah we put our trust. Our Lord, do not make us a trial for the folk who are polytheists and wrongdoers, and do not let them overpower us, and deliver us by your mercy from the disbelieving folk. And we inspired Moses and his brother, saying, Take dwellings for your people in Egypt, and make dwellings as places for your worship, and perform prayer, and give glad tidings to the believers. And Moses said, our Lord, you have indeed bestowed on Pharaoh and his chiefs splendor and wealth in the life of this world. Our Lord, they only use it to repulse others from your path. Our Lord, wipe out their wealth and harden their hearts to prevent them from believing until they see the painful retribution. Allah said, Indeed, the invocation of both of you is accepted. So both of you keep to the straight way. Keep on doing good deeds and preaching Allah's message with patience. And do not follow the path of those who do not know the truth and do not believe in the oneness of Allah. And we took the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh with his hosts followed them in oppression and enmity, till when drowning overtook him he said, I believe that none has the right to be worshipped but he, in whom the children of Israel believe and I am one of the Muslims, those who submit to Allah's will. Now you believe, while you refused to believe before, and you chose to be a transgressor. Today we shall preserve your body from the sea, so that you may be a sign to those who come after you, and indeed many among mankind are heedless of our signs and revelations. And indeed we settled the children of Israel in an honorable dwelling place, and provided them with good things and they did not differ until the knowledge came to them. Indeed, Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection, in that in which they used to dispute. So if you, O Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed to you, that your name is written in the Torah and the Gospel, then ask those that have read the Torah and the Gospel before you. Indeed, the truth has come to you from your Lord, so do not be of those who doubt it. Nor shall you join those who rejected Allah's revelations, for then you shall be one of the losers. Truly, those condemned by a decree from your Lord cannot believe. No matter what kind of proof you show them, they cannot believe until they see the painful retribution. Was there any town that believed after seeing the punishment, but its faith saved it from the punishment? The answer is none, except the people of Jonah. When they believed, we relieved the humiliating retribution they have been suffering in this world, and we made them prosperous. And had your Lord willed, those on earth would have believed, all of them together. So will you, O Muhammad, then compel mankind until they become believers? It is not for any person to believe, except by the leave of Allah, and He will turn His wrath on those who are heedless. Say, look at all the signs in the heavens and the earth but all the proofs and warnings can never help people who have decided to disbelieve. Can they expect anything other than the fate of the men who passed away before them? Say, wait then, I too am with you and among those who wait. In the end, we save our messengers and those who believe. 
Thus it is incumbent upon us to save the believers. Say, O you mankind, if you are in doubt as to my religion, Islam, then know that I will never worship those whom you worship besides Allah. But I worship Allah, who causes you to die. I am commanded to be one of the believers, and it is inspired to me. Direct your face entirely towards the true religion of Islamic monotheism, and worship none but Allah, and never be of those who ascribe partners to Allah. And do not invoke any besides Allah, any that will neither benefit you nor harm you. But if you do so, you shall certainly be one of the polytheists and wrongdoers. And if Allah touches you with hurt, there is none who can remove it but He. And if He intends any good for you, no force can resist His grace. He bestows it on whomsoever of His slaves that He wills, and He is the oft-forgiving, most merciful. Say, O mankind, the truth in the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad has come to you from your Lord. So whoever receives guidance, he does so for the good of his own self, and whoever goes astray, he does so to his own loss. And I am not set over you as a guardian or to oblige you for guidance. And O Muhammad, follow the inspiration sent to you, and be patient till Allah gives his judgment. And he is the best of judges. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al-Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al-Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter. According to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.